In this video, I'm going to be showing you the AI Identify tool. The AI Identify tool is our general purpose presence slash absence detection tool. In previous generations, we've used a learning tool that required multiple images to determine if a part was good or no good. With our AI Identify tool, we've introduced a new algorithm that incorporates object detection, allowing the tool to recognize and track the part in front of the camera. This eliminates the need for a position adjustment and requires only one reference image when programming the camera. Here I will walk through a step-by-step -step setup of the AI Identify tool. In my example, I want to confirm that the text AAA is present on a washer. Let's jump into the sensor setup. First, we will go ahead and add a tool. We will select the AI Identify tool and then click on OK. This yellow box is the window at which we want to identify the area that is OK. We should size this box as small as possible to ensure stable detection. Now on the right hand side, we have different options here. Um, this tool allows us to adjust the window shape from a rectangle to a circle depending on what we want to identify on the part. Then next we have our search range. For the search range, we will select entire. This means that only within the tool is identifying as OK, while anything outside the window is considered no good. We could use a partial search range if, for example, two AAA symbols appeared on the washer and we only wanted to detect the presence of the bottom section. The automatically learned rotated state option allows the tool to automatically learn the object in various rotated orientation, enabling it to track the part regardless of rotation within the field of view. If our application required the washer to be no good when AAA is rotated, we would disable this function. After we have determined these settings, then we can click Start Learning. A screen will appear reminding us to insert only OK parts within the tool window as anything outside will be learned as no good. Click OK to proceed. Next, we will go to the Extended Function tab. Select settings next to the limit. This limit setting will set a minimum matching rate threshold for the tool to identify a part as good or no good. The default is 50%, but we can always adjust as needed. The tool cannot accurately identify if a part is okay if it is under the 50% mark. You don't need to change this setting unless you want the part to always read at a high matching rate. Once configured, click OK. Lastly, we can add a position adjustment if needed, though AI Identify can track the part through object detection, making a position adjustment unnecessary in most cases. Unless you are using a partial search range, then you will need to add a position adjustment. Click OK to finalize. Now we will go ahead and click OK, and the AI Identify tool is now going to be complete. We're going to go into Run Mode. And now we're going to test the part. Now we can observe that the part is being tracked in the field of view and if a bad washer is shown, it will display as no good. If we have another washer marked ABA and want to classify it as okay, we can perform additional learning to teach the program this new part. In run mode, click on additional learning in the top right. A prompt will appear informing us that we will stop running to perform additional learning, confirmed by clicking OK. Move the tool window over the ABA marking on the washer and specify if it is OK or no good. In this case, it is OK. Then we will click on start learning. Click on OK here because the learning has been completed. And then the tool can now recognize both AAA and ABA washers as OK. You can switch between both parts and they will display as OK. If you have any questions about this tool, please contact our technical team at 888 Keyens Option 2.